Welcome once again. We are presenting a question on mold concept. Best to Western schools. Chemistry paper one. A metallic hydroxide solution of the formula M or H was made by dissolving 11.2 grams in one liter of solution. 6 cm cubic of this solution required 12 cm cubic of sulfuric 6 acid solution containing 4.9 grams per decimeter cubic of the acid for complete neutralization. Calculate the relative atomic mass of M. We have been given the relative atomic mass of uh, hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to write an equation for the reaction between the base and the acid. We have M hydroxide, this is a solution. This being reacted with sulfuric 6 acid solution. And remember the reaction between a base and an acid will give us salt and water so m will take the sulfate part giving us m sulfate remember from the formula of the base m has a valency of one and the sulfate has a valency of two and therefore the correct formula of the sulfate of m will be m2so4 aqueous plus of course water and water is a liquid. From there, we can balance the equation by writing uh, two behind the base and also two behind water. We have been told that uh, the solution of the base was made by dissolving 12, no, 11.2 grams in one liter. In this solution, 6 cm cubic of the base required 12 cm cubic of the acid for a complete reaction or simply for complete neutralization. We also know the number of grams that were dissolved in 1 liter to prepare the acid and this is 4.9 grams per decimeter cubic. We are going to begin this question by, of course, getting the molarity of the acid. We know molarity is given by grams per liter. You divide by the relative formula mass of the acid. And this one is going to be equal to grams per liter of the acid were 4.9. We divide by the relative formula mass of the acid. To get the relative formula mass of the acid, we know. We sum up all the relative atomic masses of the elements forming sulfuric 6 acid. We have hydrogen with the relative atomic mass of 1 times 2. We have 2 plus sulfur is going to have a RAM of 32. And of course, oxygen has 16 times 4 to get 64. And when you add all this, you are going to get 98. So once you are done, this one is going to give you 0 0.05 molar. So this is actually the number of moles that are contained in one liter. And we can now ask ourselves, in one liter, which is a thousand centimeter cubic, we actually have 0 0.05. But out of this, we only required 6 cm cubic of uh, the base reacting with 12 cm cubic of the acid. We need to calculate the number of moles in 12 cm cubic because this is the volume that reacted with 6 of the base. So 12 cm cubic is going to give us 12 multiplied by 0 0.05, everything divided by 1000. And this one is going to give us 
zero point zero 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 six moles. If we know the number of moles of the acid, we can now use the mole ratio to get the number of moles of the base. So to get moles of M hydroxide using the mole ratio, we simply take the number of moles of the acid we multiply by two, since the mole ratio of the base to the acid is two to one. So we take two, you multiply by 0 0.0006, and this one is going to give us 0.0012 moles. Very simple. We know the volume that reacted with a sulfuric 6 acid was actually 6 cm cubic. It means since this is the volume of the base that reacted with the acid and we know the number of moles, it means this number of moles are contained in 6 cm cubic. So 6 cm cubic contains 0 0.0012 moles. We need to calculate the number of moles in 1 liter, which is 1,000 cm cubic. So in 1,000, we are going to have 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.0012, everything divided by 6, and this one is going to give us a molarity equivalent to 0 0.2 molar. Remember, we are calculating the relative atomic mass of M. So we have to get the molarity of the base because we know the number of moles in one, the number of grams that were dissolved in one liter to make M hydroxide. So from there, we know molarity is given by grams per liter, you divide by the relative formula mass. We have been given the molarity, which we have calculated. And therefore now, to get the relative formula mass, to get the relative formula mass, we usually take the number of grams that were dissolved in one liter that is 11.2, we divide by the molarity of 0 0.2. And this one is going to give us, this one is going to give us uh, 56. So 56 is actually the relative formula mass of M hydroxide. We know from M hydroxide, we have M or H and the total of all the relative atomic masses will be equal to 56. We do not know that of M. So if we take M, we add the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16 plus that of hydrogen, which is one, this will be able to give us 56. So M, plus 17 will be equal to 56. And if you want to get M, you simply take 17 to the other side, you subtract, and this one is going to be equivalent to 39. If you were asked about the identity of M, this could have been potassium, because potassium is the one that has a relative atomic mass of 39. Thank you for watching. And welcome to our discussions and in case you have just bumped onto this channel for the first time please take a second or two you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification